Okay, so check this out. Adobe have added a new feature in Photoshop Beta 2024, and this feature is honestly a game changer. So what we can do now is we can use reference images in Photoshop to get better variations when created generated prompts. Let's say that we wanted to, first of all, you know, change the uniform of this person right here. We can use the crop tool and we can use the generative expand. We can just drag this down and then bring back the rest of the person. It's done a decent job. The fingers aren't quite great. They're okay. We could definitely have a look at some other variations, see if there's any better ones. It seems to have struggled on some of them. If you wanted to hide them, you could just stick with this one. And then from here, all we need to do is tell Photoshop that we want to focus on the person's clothing. Now, the quickest way to do this is with either the quick selection tool or the object selection tool. So it's completely up to you if you want to use the lasso selection and then draw yourself a selection of the clothing. You just want to make sure you are only selecting the clothing and you want to subtract the person's arms. Connect this up. This will use AI to automatically connect it up. Same goes for this bottom area as well. We just need a selection. If yours is struggling to pick up the person because your layer is separate, you can also combine them together if you wanted to by converting them into a smart object. And then from here, you can continue doing your selection and fix up the rest. Now, once you've got yourself the selection, we also need the second image that we're going to use for the reference. So for example, I want to use this one right here because it's a perfect image of a man wearing a suit. So once again, we can use the quick selection tool and we can just get ourselves a selection of the suit only. We don't need anything else, only the clothing. Now, depending on what tool you use, you can get a lot better results. For example, if you use the pen tool or the polygonal lasso tool, but since I'm showing an example, we're just going to quickly get ourselves a rough selection. It doesn't have to be perfect as long as we are selecting the area that we wanted to select. And then we're going to subtract this area, subtract this one here as well. And also this one as well. But I would say this is fairly decent. So from here, we can mask out the suit. And then all you need to do now is go ahead and press Control or Command and S to save your image. We're just going to call this one Man in Suit. And then press Save. Go ahead and press OK. And now we can go back onto our main image, go to Generative Fill. And then if you click on this reference image right here, you can choose an image and choose the new one that you've just created. Go ahead and press on open and it will use that image as a reference. So now if we type in black suit and click on generate, it's going to match it to this image that we've just selected. And there we go. As you can see, it's used the reference image and created some variations that are very similar to the one that we've told it to use, which the first one doesn't seem too bad. It's definitely decent. We can work with this one. The only thing is the color is a little bit too big and messy, but we can always fix that a little bit later on. Also, a new feature that has been added to the variations of generative fill is this icon right here. And this will focus up on cleaning up and making it look even better. And there we go. As you can see, it sharpened it up. It's a lot clearer now. And yeah, that is definitely looking really good. Now, like I said, for me, the collar just doesn't sit right and it doesn't look great. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the lasso tool. We're going to get ourselves a selection. Same goes for the side as well. And you just want to click on Generative Fill and click on Generate. And that is not quite what we're looking for. We could try to type in small T-shirt 
collar. Let's try that. That is looking a lot tidier now compared to before. Compared to before, they have definitely improved this and it's a lot more accurate now, especially with things like the arms. The fingers are still a bit hit and miss. Now, one final note before I go, I also want to let you know that if you have any creases or areas that you're not happy with, you can press Control, Command and J, get yourself a copy of it, hide the one underneath it, and then rasterize the one on top. This will allow you to edit it and you can use the remove tool right here. You can get yourself a selection and this will automatically fix it up. And there we go. We can also fix up the collar right here. You can actually use this tool to fix up those edges. And yeah, that's pretty much it. That is the new reference image in Photoshop CC 2024 beta.